Hello again. We're going to go through uh, chapter two, lesson two today. This is percents as fractions. So our little I can statement is I can write percents as fractions and vice versa, which means I can then watch fractions as percents. So I think maybe the first thing we need to do is take a look at what percent even means, right? So if I go percent, percent, so that means per every 100, because uh, four or with per and then cent, cent equals 100, such as 100 cents in a dollar, or centimeter is 100. So per cent, so if I want, let's say 50%, I'm going to have 50 per 100, which is going to equal 50%. So if I want to go with 75%, I will write that as a fraction as 75 per 100. So that's how we get our per cent. Let's go do some examples here. Let's take a look. All right, so this is on page 102. So page 102, if you can follow along in your book, that would be great. So again, a percent, and it defines it as a ratio that compares a number to 100. For instance, we in this example, we have 45%, so it's 45 out of 100, or 45 over 100, 45 hundreds. And you can see we can even graph that and turn it into a uh, chart. Here we have a 10 by 10 uh, square, so it's 100 squares in there. And if we fill in 45 of those, and we see we're gonna have one, one, two, three, four, five, so it's 50, but the fifth one, we only have one, two, three, four, five of those done. So it's four tens and a five. So it's 45% is colored. And we can do that in a pie chart as well. If we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So each one of these is worth 10%. So we'll have one, two, three, four and a half. So that's going to be our 45% of our hundred. All right, so to write a fraction, or to correction, to write a percent as a fraction, first you write the percent as a ratio. So in this case, we have 45 per 100. And then we simplify that. Well, let's see, what, how could we simplify this? I think we can go ahead and divide each one numerator and denominator by five. Let's see what that gets us. That gets us 9 twentieths. So that's if we were turning it back to a fraction. So now we've talked about a percent, such as 45%. We've turned it into a per 100, 45 out of 100, and then we were going able to simplify that to get a fraction. So 45% equals 9 twentieths. And if we want to do a reasonable next check, a reasonable -ness check, that's a, that's a big word. Let's think about that. 20, if I have 20, and then I take half of that, so half of 20 would be 10, so each of these would be 10. And then if I had only nine of those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I only had nine of those, it would not be quite be half. It'd be just shy of that. So 45% does look like it's nine twentieths. So here's 10 and here's nine, there's one. All right, that makes sense. Let's take a look at another example. So write 50% as a fraction in the simplest form. All right, so we have 50%, and then to, we compare it to 50 out of 100, so 50 per 100, 
And then we can simplify that by dividing each side by 50, or the denominator and the numerator by 50. And then we end up with 1 half. And again, in our drawing, we can see 50 out of 100 cubes are colored, and that's 1 half. All right, let's take a look at one more example. In a recent survey, 55% of cell phone users said they text message. What percent, what fraction of cell phone owners is this? So what we want to do here is again, go with our 55% and we turn it to a fraction by taking the 55 per 100 or 55 one hundredths. So let's go ahead and write that again here, 55 one hundredths. And then if we were going to reduce this or simplify it, we could divide each side by five, in which case 55 divided by five is 11, 100 divided by five is 20. So 55% equals 11 twentieths. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a few more examples. So if you think you got it, let's do our got it. And this is again on the bottom of page 102. All right, so write each fraction, or write each percentage as a fraction. So the first thing I want to do is I could say 50% equal, or 75% equals 75 out of 100, or 75 per 100. Now I can simplify that by dividing the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator by 25. And so I will get three and fourths so my answer is three fourths. Let's take a look at 90. I can take 90%, turn it into a fraction by putting it 90 over 100. So 90 out of 100 or 90 per 100. And then I can reduce these by dividing each side, or the top and the bottom, the numerator and denominator by 10 and with 9 tenths. So 90% equals 9 tenths. All right, getting the hang of this? All right, let's take another example, 38%. So how are we gonna do this one? It's not as even. That's right, we're gonna do it exactly the same way. We're just gonna take 38 out of 100, or 38 per 100, and then we will simplify that. So we can divide each side by two, because they're even numbers, and I'll end up with 19 fiftieths. And 38% equals 19 fiftieths. All right, so we just did some turning percents to fractions. I like the way that worked. Let's take a look at another example. We've got example three here. So the table shows the percent of each movie type rented for a month. So we have action at 35%, children's at 5%, 45% was comedy, 5% was drama, 5% horror, and 5% romance. So action, fiction, action movies are the top. What fraction of rentals were action movies? Well, the first thing we wanna do, again, is our 35%, because that's what it tells us. We convert that to a fraction by taking 35 per 100, because that's what percent means, per 100. And so, next thing we want to do is, let's just copy it down here uh, again. Actually, I don't need to copy that again. I'll just use that part that's there. We just simplify this. We can divide each side by 5, the numerator and the denominator and we will end up with 7 twentieths. So movie, action movies were rented 7 twentieths of the time. All right, let's take a look at this question D here. Uh, also, uh, this is page 103. What fraction of rentals were horror movies? Oh, now we have to go back and look again. Horror movies were 5%. So let's go 5%, and that is gonna equal five per 100. 
And we can go ahead and divide the numerator and the denominator by 5 will equal 1 20th. So what fraction of rentals were horror movies? Well, 1 20th of the movies were horror movies. All right, let's take a look at another thing. So that was just percents as fractions. Now let's do it the other way and do fractions as percents. So we have to write the fraction as a percent, find the equivalent ratio with 100 as a denominator. <clears throat> so we have to uh, convert it like we did today in class, actually, using our, um, trying to get our base 10, but our base 10 now is the 100. So if we have 6 eighths, that'll simplify by dividing the numerator and denominator by 2 to 3 fourths. So we take 3 fourths, and how can we get from 4 to 100? So we need to write equivalent ratios, and one of the ratios is a fraction, the other is an unknown with a value compared to 100. If we multiply 4 by 25, that'll get us 100. So we also multiply 3 by um, 75, or 25, which would give us 75. So 3 fourths equals 75 one hundredths. And 75 one hundredths, if we know, if we knew it this way, going 75% equals 75 per 100, then we must know that 75 per 100 equals 75%. Got it? All right, let's take a look at E on the bottom of page 103. So we're going to write the fraction 9 twelfths as a percent. And let's look at this. If I have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, those are 12, a 3 by 4 box, so that's 12. And I have 9 of those colored in. And I can look at this right away, and I can actually see that looks like 1, 2, 3 out of 4. So I bet if we go 9 twelfths, we can simplify that by dividing top and bottom, numerator and denominator by three. I end up with three fourths. Now, I want to go back to what I set up here. I need to find a ratio of, that is a comparable by to a hundred. So, we need to have something that's comparable to a hundred. How do we get from four to a hundred? We multiply by 25 on the top and the bottom, and we get 175. So once again, the fraction as a percent, so we're still at a per 100, but it still looks like a fraction, so 75 per 100 is percent. So it's 75%. Excellent. We're almost done here. This is a quick uh, little chapter, quick lesson. Let's look at number five example on page 104. All right. So Mitch made 12 out of his 40 shots during the championship. Oh, I wonder if that was good. What percentage of his shots were made? Well, we start out with 12 over 40, so we create that ratio. 12 shots were made out of 40 shots. So simplify 12, 40 by dividing the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor, which is four. And we end up with three tenths. Now normally, when we were doing this lesson before, we would have said, oh, three tenths. We just write it as a number. But that's not what we're trying to do yet. That's correct. But first, we want to go and get a 100. We need to find an equivalent ratio of 3 tenths to 100. And to do that, we need to multiply 10 by 10 to get 100. Therefore, we have to multiply the 3 by 10 to get 30. So we end up with 30, 3 tenths equals 30 one hundredths, or 30%. Make sense? All right, let's do another. Elena spelled or spelled 19 out of 25 words, 19 out of 25 words correctly. 
What percent of words did Anna spell correctly? Oh, so now we need to know what percent this is. And again, we want to get it equivalent to a ratio that's got 100 in the denominator. So 25 times 4 will equal 100. Therefore, we must have 19 times 4. Have to do that math. And 19 times 4 is going to be 76, I believe. Let's see, 19 and 4. 9 and 4 is 36. Yeah, 76. And if 76 per 100, therefore it's 76%. All right. Let's just go ahead and do a couple quick practice problems in our guided practice. And again, this is page 104. Let's do these quickly. So we're just going to go write each percent as a fraction in the simplest form. That's the key right there. We need to simplify it. So 15% is 15 per 100. We can divide each by 5. So we're going to end up with 3 twentieths. And that's my fraction for number 1. Let's take a look at number two. 80% is going to be 80 per 100. Well, I know I can simplify that by dividing by 10. So that's going to be 8 per 10, or 8 tenths. I can simplify that again. So let's take 8 tenths and divide each side by 2 so equals 4 fifths. So 80% equals 4 fifths. Let's take 33%. Well, 33 per 100. Oh, and that's as simple as it goes. So 33% equals 33 100s. Uh, Let's take a look at number 4. Write each fraction as a percent. Okay, still doing, now we're doing fractions to percent, and use a model if needed. So three tenths, I have one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, so it's three out of 10. Well, I need to get it uh, to a percent, so I need to equivalent, make this equivalent ratio to 100. I can go 10 times 10 would give me 100, so I need to go 3 times 10 is 30, so that is going to equal 30 per 100, or 30 per cent. All right, let's take a look at 3 twentieths. Again, when I get a percent, so I need to get this to a ratio that has 100 on the bottom, an equivalent ratio. So 20 times what gets to 100? 20 times 5, therefore I need to multiply the numerator by 5, so I end up with 15 one hundredths, which equals 15 percent. So 15 per 100, 15 out of 100 equals 15 percent. Let's do number 6. 6 half or 2 halves, or no, 2 halves, 2 fifths, that's what I'm looking at. I want an equivalent ratio that has a hundred in the denominator. So five times what goes into a hundred? Well, if you weren't sure, you could just take 100 and divide by five, and you would go twice, because two times five is 10, drop down another zero, and we would get zero. So 20. Um, we have to multiply five times 20, so multiply 2 times 20, you get 40. So our answer is 40%. 40 per 100, 40%. All right, let's take a look at our very last problem. Switch up our colors a little bit. Elsa ran 7 out of 10 days. What percent did she run? And again, we have a fraction. This is 7 tenths. But we need to make it equivalent to a ratio with 100 in the bottom. So we can take 10 times 10 to get 100. So 7 times 10 to get 70. So 70 out of 100. 70 per 100 equals 70%. 
All right, and that gets you through to the homework, which is page 185, or 105 odds and 107 odds. So uh, go have some fun with the homework and let me know if you have any questions.